Trench periscopes. Extreme weather, rats, lice, mud, and the ever-present danger of being killed made daily life in the trenches a claustrophobic nightmare of physical and mental endurance. Forward area trenches averaged around 12 feet deep and were constructed in a zigzag pattern to prevent bombs or shells landing in the trench from destroying the entire line. As a result, an individual soldier could never see more than about 10 yards along the trench. The forward edge of the trench facing the enemy, the parapet, included fire steps to permit soldiers to step up to engage an attacking enemy. The rear of the trench, the parados, protected the soldiers back from shells falling behind the trench. The sides of the trench were reinforced with sandbags, wooden rails, boards, or corrugated metal to prevent collapse. Trench periscopes permitted the soldiers to view no man's land between the opposing trench lines in relative safety. Most were simple devices using two mirrors contained in a wooden box, tilted to direct the image to the viewer's eye. While life in the trenches was a dangerous and miserable existence, the deep tunnels and fortifications at least provided some protection from the seemingly endless enemy machine gun fire and shelling. However, such defences did not make soldiers immune, as they would still have to stick their head above the trench to fire on the enemy, or to simply see what was going on in no man's land. Throughout the war, highly skilled snipers armed with telescopic sights would be present on the battlefield and were a deadly and terrifying foe. They would often crawl out of their trenches and into no man's land under cover of darkness, using the terrain for cover, and even infamously making use of fake trees. There they would patiently wait, biding their time until an enemy soldier raised their head above the parapet. For many men taking a curious peek out of their trench, this would be the last thing they did as the sniper trained his sights onto whatever part of their body was exposed, and fired. Such deadly sniper fire kept the men suppressed, and in a permanent state of fear, damaging morale and making observing the enemy, and defending your trench, highly dangerous. To counter this threat, the soldiers began using ever more ingenious tools to see out onto no man's land, without the danger of being shot. Periscopes quickly became popular for observing the enemy, and it was not long before rifles were rigged with these periscopes and built into elaborate contraptions that would allow the men to fire their rifles from the safety of the trench. The shooter would lift his rifle over a trench and then look through the attached periscope, using a string to fire at his target without exposing himself. The weapon has become most famously associated with the Gallipoli campaign in Turkey in 1915, where Australian forces used it with great effectiveness. At Gallipoli, periscopes were commonly used to observe the Ottoman trenches, who in some places were less than 50 yards away. Sergeant William Beach built his own version of the periscope rifle at Gallipoli, which was quickly copied by other Anzac soldiers, who were in desperate need of any advantage they could muster. With a range of 300 yards, the weapon was less accurate than a standard rifle, but with enemy trenches just 50 yards away, or less in some places, such lower accuracy was not much of a problem.